Hey everybody, Lee Roth, Dean King Training Institute. Um, I actually just got in town. Um, I've been teaching a class in uh, Texas for a couple of weeks and I was in Denver for a couple of weeks, so now I'm back out here in California. Um, Angel, one of our students, is, uh, is getting ready to leave today, um, uh, headed back uh, to Illinois. So he hasn't got a chance to work with me on some glue pulling, so I'm gonna show him a couple of tips and tricks uh, on working on this rail real quick um, as soon as he gets back up here. Um, although I feel like an idiot because I'm just standing here talking to y'all waiting on Angel to show back up, but um, Sal, you're on camera. Go get Angel for me, would you please? Sure. Tell him like I'm, we're rolling and I'm waiting on him. <laughs> so um, I'm actually in the process of, you know, some of y'all know that um, I do uh, R&D testing um, on all the glues and the glue tabs and everything. So not only am I getting ready to show Angel some stuff, um, you know, how to pull a few things on this rail, but I'm actually testing some brand new tabs and some brand new glue that's not out on the market yet. So um, officially you can't see them, um, but just know that there's a, there's a couple of new things that are gonna be released most likely at MTE in January um, that are some pretty cool, pretty cool toys. Okay, so Angel, um, I made three different dents here. I went ahead and threw the big light up there. It gives you a little bit better spectrum and a little bit better visual on it. So we got a real shallow one right here. Then we got a little bit deeper one there and then a little bit deeper one here. On this deeper one, you should be able to see those, the eyebrow and the, uh, and the smile around the bottom mm -hmm. side of that. Okay, so when we get ready to tap down on that, before we even pull it, if you've got that significant ridge around it, open it up a little bit, knock that ridge down. The one failure of glue, and I'm just gonna kind of try to run through a few ideas because I, I, I mean, I kind of know what you should have gone through with glue, so um, just a couple of extra points that I'm gonna try to throw to you. Don't be afraid to open a dent up, okay? Even before you pull it. One of the, for lack of a better term, failures of glue pulling is it has a hard time with a sh very sharp, very tiny, tight dent, okay? okay. If you take a sharp, tight dent and open it up, and one of the analogies that I use, if you take a cup and you turn it into a bowl, it's gonna pull easier. Okay. You've softened that bottom up, you've softened the edges up, and it's gonna make it invert smoother, okay? So anytime you have any high ridge around the outside of the dent or a very sharp bottom, don't be afraid to go in there, open it up a little bit before you ever pull it. Yes, you are making the dent a little bit bigger. You might take a dime-sized dent and turn it into a nickel. But inevitably, it's going to be a lot easier for you to pull because that bottom is going to be smoother, softer, and shallower. Gotcha. Okay? Um, hey, Mr. Alex, may I have my VIP tap down back, please, sir? Uh, I, like that. I can't help it. It's my go-to. It, it's my right hand. VIP knockdowns with the interchangeable tip. They're awesome. This is the 3.0 with the interchangeable stainless tips. So that's one I take home, right? No, this one you are not taking home. This one's mine. But I do need to grab a hammer. I'm sorry, Oleg. I know I'm walking away from you and you hate when I do that. But I needed a hammer real quick. Okay. So, like on this one, we're just gonna, just real gently, Ease those that ridge down. See that sharpest edge right there on that ridge? Mm -hmm. And I'm just barely staying on the dent side of that, that crown right there. And the same thing on this side. Just kind of shallowing that ridge down. So basically all I'm doing is you, you've got a ridge on the side of that dent, right? Like this and I'm taking that ridge that's really sharp and I'm laying it back. Okay. That's all I'm doing. Just kind of evening and easing that slope up. Now what we're gonna do, and we'll go ahead, we'll hold off on that one for just a second, but if you can see that one. You, Ole, can you see that in the camera okay? Okay, so on a real shallow dent like that, soft pull, okay? You don't need to make a monster pull on something like that, especially on your first pull. Just like in pushing, you want to test that metal to see how hard you need to pull it. Fairly equal size tab to the size of the dent or slightly smaller. So we're going to take, that's a, an 11 millimeter roughly. 
and see how that sets just in even with that tap, that dent. Yep. Okay. Get a nice fill on the tab. And this has actually still got some root beer glue mixed in it. I haven't pushed it all out yet. And root beer glue being as strong as it is, we definitely don't want a really hard hookup because that's a super shallow dent. And if we get a really hard hookup on a super shallow dent like that, it, number, you're, you're doing two things. One, you're risking pulling the paint when you don't need to risk it because you don't need to over pull it like that. And two, you're just making more work for yourself. You know, so you want to be able to control that pull where you're just slightly inverting it, making a little bit of a dome. So right there where it just went no longer tacky. Seconds. Light pop, you're gonna pull it. Take a look at that. You can't ask for one to open up any better than that right there. That's about as close of an almost perfect pull as you can ever get. Is that right there? Which never happens. Mm -hmm. Ever happens. So we got just a teeny tiny little bit of high nice right spot. there. Yep. We're just going to ease that down just a little bit. And, and you always, always with glue pulling, you typically want to use, especially until you get really, really confident with your tapping, always use a little bit fatter tap down so you can blend this out and you don't risk making a sharp little dimple that you're going to have a really hard time pulling back out. So you see how I'm just kind of blending this out a little bit? Kind of like I would do with a blending hammer, but I can, I'm just doing it with a, with a tap down and just leveling that out nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. She's gone. She's gone. Absolutely. One thing that with glue pulling that you always have to remember is make sure that you're keeping that light back far enough because it will hide highs from you, especially in a lighter color in a white or sometimes in a silver. Make sure you're taking that extra step to push that light back a little bit um, to be able to see because that'll give you a, see, like when I push that light back a little bit, take a look. There's, it, it's showing us that very subtle shallow that we still need to get, get that out of. So we're just gonna kind of blend that out a little bit more. See those little shoulders right there? Just that little high. Uh-huh. You can do it with a blending hammer. You can do it with a tap down. I mean, whichever way you're more comfortable with. I mean, I could easily be doing this with a blending hammer. Um, but I don't, since I don't have one on the cart, you know, you can, uh, if you're careful and you're good at tapping down, you can do a, a certain amount, a lot of blending with your tap down. You know, a blending hammer is phenomenal. Don't get me wrong. I love them. I use them all the time. Um, and I'll, uh, thank you. Um, and I love how they'll spread that area out and let you blend that, that metal in. Uh, but a lot of times, especially when I just have a small spot like that, the accuracy of doing it with a, a tap down is just as effective. Okay. Yeah. Um, and sometimes even because you have more control with the tap down, um, you can also sometimes do it even quicker if you just have a little bit to do. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, plus, you know, it also depends on your level of blending. You're going to get, you should get, I should say, a lot better, faster at tapping down than blending. Blending is, is, a, is a magnificent process and it's something you do need to learn and you will, but it does take time to, to become proficient at it. So why don't you go ahead and pop this one. Let's make a pull in that one. So I would go with either that 11 or maybe a 14 millimeter tab. And uh, so probably check that one. Check, check the size on that one, see how that fits in there. So if you got a little taper around the outside of it, that's perfect. You just don't want to ever go bigger on a dent like that, a, a larger than the dent with the tab, because you're going to end up over pulling it. What you think? Mm, yeah, you should be fine. You can go with that. You can go with that one. Let's just see what that does.
the dreaded glue spider webs. Now, so you saw how that one pulled before with that set time, and I pulled it right when it became no longer tacky. So this one is gonna need a little bit more of a pull, <clears throat> just because it's a little bit deeper, but don't go more than a second or two past that tacky state. Give it a, you know, like a quick bump, make sure you got a good grip, then pop it. Okay. Always make sure you're pulling perfectly straight up from the tab. There you go. That's all right, I'll find it. Okay. Probably went underneath the car. I'll get another one. Nice. Try to hit it with a little bit more alcohol and don't, and try not to use your thumbnail because your thumbnail will actually scuff the, the clear coat. Okay. Um, just keeps you from having to, to maybe uh, go back and buff it later. Okay, so it, it pulled really nice. So you've got that one high spot right there. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and start tapping that down. Now chances are, um, when you get that down, you're probably gonna have to make one more pull. It's, there's probably gonna be a little shallow on this side. But let's see what it looks like after you tap it down. And is that too much light on you or are you good? Okay. I've also got that light dimmed down a little bit for you too. It's not at its brightest setting. Because that one gets really bright. And on this, on this white, you get it too bright, it's gonna create a whole lot of glare. Make sure you're lifting your tap up in between taps just so you can see the movement. Okay, good. It's it's technically it's still just a hair high, but you're but you're okay to pull. So what you want to do is you got this little low area right here toward the, the bottom left side of this dent right in here. So you wanna, you're gonna wanna go in there and make a fairly soft pull, barely, right. yeah, right there on that, on that bottom edge. Um, almost a little bit of a wet pull. Um, Are you it? No. Um, that's all right, just use this one. You'll be fine. That's the same size, that'll work. I said, make sure you don't make a really hard pull because you're gonna, you're gonna end up just pulling too much of it. There you go. And and you're you're setting your tabs really well. Um, I noticed you do that same little tap that I do because you want to set the tab down and kind of press it in a little bit, but you don't want to thin it out too much. Yeah. You know, you still want a significant amount of glue up underneath there. Good job. Oh, this one gonna pull fast. Yeah, just a light pop. Okay. Yep. Because like I said, you don't wanna you don't wanna pull too much. And if you'll get in, yeah, I was gonna say get in the habit of rolling your, your slide hammer up like that and it won't fall. You won't be chasing them on the ground. There you go. Hi Michelle. Welcome to Cali. Thank you. How are you? Welcome back home. Right? Yeah. So what did you do to my guy? This one? I heard he was beating you. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was bad. It was bad. I hit him with a blending hammer a couple of times unofficially. <laughs> how are you doing? Good. How are you? Welcome 
So one thing I always find challenging about glue pulling, and not just challenging, but it's challenging in a cool way, because I'm just a, a knowledge geek nerd like that, is if you notice that dent has kind of moved on you. Yeah. As it pulled, you pulled it right, you pulled it straight. But as it pulled, it's kind of slowly created that little ridge, ridge. toward the bottom of it. Here, let me, just let me help you out here a little bit. And, and because of that, we're actually going to have to change up and kind of move what we're doing and how we're doing it to pull that, that oblong, let's say, uh, dent out. Okay. Because you've got the vast majority of the dent gone, but as it pulled, and that's just because of structure. Different metals, the, the different inner walls, things that they do. A lot of times, a lot of times the metal is stiffer right here over the driver's cabin than it is on the backside. You'll run into that in different vehicles. So a lot of times, especially when you're pulling, you can actually have a dent walk on you. Yeah. It'll like happen. On, yeah. Well, and, and it, it doesn't usually happen that often in rails, but it really happens like on around body lines and like in fenders around the wheel lip. You'll have a dent like right in here that you glue pull, and as you glue pull it, that dent tries to walk down that. Where I always tell you, always tap your highs down before you make another pull. You wanna see genuinely what's left before you make that pull. But this is a situation that we can go just past that pull that you made, where it kinda walked that dent, go to right where it starts to level out, make another light pull, and it kinda creates a speed bump. Okay where it'll stop that walk. So then you can go in between them and then pull it up and then level the whole thing out by tapping it down. So those are just things that you have to adapt to as, as you're going through. Also that scanning tech, you know, remember the very first exercise they put you through with the lines? Yep. When you're scanning with those lines? As, as sometimes juvenile and as silly as that exercise seems, right now is where that comes into play because I'm using multiple lines in the light and I'm scanning up and down seeing different angles mm -hmm. to see that differently to make sure I'm seeing all of the different imperfections in it. So we've got a little bit of a line but very little. I think we're still okay with a uh, with a round tab. Um, but again, we don't want to make a, a super, super hard pull. Just because it's not necessary because of how... That line is there. Yeah. that It's a, it's a shallow and it's noticeable, but it's very, very subtle. So also remember, and, and I've noticed that you've been putting it in there very well, make sure that as you place your tab, um, you know how we talked about when you're pushing, you always go for that deepest part, yeah. right? Basically, it's the same thing with with glue. With glue. Typically, you're 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 your you know you're surrounding and centering the tab in the dent, um, but making sure that the shaft is over the deepest part because the the center shaft is going to make the the hardest pull. And you notice I'm just kind of bumping this because I didn't want to make a really hard pull. So I just kind of bump, 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 bump until it popped off just to kind of make a series of, of lighter pulls. Yep. But you see how by doing it that way and making that series of, of softer pulls, it just pulled it all up and it smoothed it out, kind of stretched the metal out where it smooths it, and then we can just, now we can tap it down. Yeah, we'll tap it down now. Right. So we can just come in here and make sure we get that contour back. We're just gonna reel gently. Every, you know, as we're moving around it, 
you know, everybody always wants to say, well, what's the pattern? There is no pattern other than what the dent shows you. If you pay attention to the dent and you, exactly, if you read the dent and listen to what the dent's telling you, and I know everybody says the dent's not talking. It actually is, you know, yeah, it's going to show you what you need to do. And it's all those little subtle highs and lows. If you just tap those subtle highs and lows into a flat area, and you watch those, you're good. It's gone. That one's yours. You do that one. So guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this little segment. Um, Angel's gonna finish up that last dent. Um, but like I said, I hadn't had an opportunity to work with him and I kind of felt bad, he was waiting. He thought I was gonna be here last week. so. Um, and I had a class in Texas I had, I had to do, so um, I shouldn't say had to do. I enjoyed doing it, and I had an awesome crew. I had seven guys in Texas last week. Um, but anyhow, I just wanted to take a few minutes, spend some time with y'all, because I haven't been out here on camera in a few weeks, and uh, spend a little extra time with Angel. So y'all take care. We'll see you soon. And uh, don't forget to hit us up on our Facebook, our Instagram, um, thedeanking.com. Uh, take care. We'll talk to you soon.